top five Brazilian soccer players of all time. All right, let's get started. Starting at number five, we have Zico, one of the greatest Brazilian players of all time. Pele once said that there was one player that came closest to him, and it was Zico. Zico was a fabulous, creative attacking midfielder, played as a number 10, a great goal scorer, a great passer and assister, great on the dribble. This man was also a free kick specialist. And for club, he famously played for Flamengo, which is the most famous club in all of Brazilian soccer, where he won many championships, including the Campeonato Brasileiro, Carioca, and of course, Copa Libertadores and the Intercontinental Cup. In number four, we have Neymar, Neymar Jr., probably one of the most overhated players in the history of soccer. But he is a fabulous player and very worthy of the number four position. He is the leading all-time goal scorer for Brazil, Asa Lesson, the leading all-time assist for Brazil, and he has had a wonderful club career, starting out at Santos. Go back and watch his Santos highlights. There's literally some of the best highlights in all of soccer. It was like watching a video game. Then he went on to do great things at Barcelona and Paris Saint-Germain as well. Neymar is a legend of the game, one of the most skillful and wonderful to watch players ever, and he deserves to be appreciated even more. At number three, Ronaldo, o fenomeno, the greatest number nine to ever play the game. This man is an absolute legend and one of the best players of all time and worthy of number three for the best Brazilian players of all time, starting his career out at Cruzeiro, immediately getting a move to PSV Eindhoven, where he just scored goals for fun, then to Barcelona, and later to Internazionale do Milano. Unfortunately, at Inter Milan, he would have a knee injury, which would forever change his career, and he would never quite reach the heights that he once was. If that knee injury doesn't happen, I don't think he makes number three on this list. He's fighting for number one on this list and even the greatest player of all time, not just Brazil. If Ronaldo O Fenomeno does not injure his knee, we might not be having the Messi versus Cristiano debate. But don't let that stop him because he would go on to win the 2002 World Cup for Brazil as their best player, winning the World Cup Golden Ball, and he'd be sporting that funny haircut with his hair right here as a distraction so people wouldn't talk about that knee injury. At number two, it is Gahincha. Gahincha is the second best Brazilian of all time. Maybe the best dribbler in all of world soccer history. This man is an absolute legend, and he had so many interesting moves and skills that no one had ever seen before. He also famously had one leg that was longer than the other leg, which would make you think he wouldn't be a great and agile soccer player, but he was absolutely amazing. Gahincha would spend the majority of his career at Botafogo, the Rio de Janeiro-based club, and he would score goals for fun, make defenders look silly, and maybe his crowning achievement was in the 1962 World Cup when Pelé got injured, and he would lead Brazil, leading them in scoring, winning the Golden Ball and the Golden Boot of the World Cup. Gahincha would help Brazil lift the World Cup once again. And before we get to number one, we have to talk about some honorable mentions, because Brazil has just so many great players. Limiting this list to five is almost disrespectful. So here are my top three honorable mentions. Starting out, we have Ronaldinho Gaúcho, one of the most legendary and magical players to ever play the game. He would win the World Cup with Brazil in 2002. He started his career at Grêmio, made a move to Paris Saint-Germain, and eventually reached his highest heights at FC Barcelona, where he would go on to win the Champions League. This man was also the 
face of the Nike Joga Bonito campaign. And pretty much every person my age grew up, this man was their hero. He was their favorite player. He could do every freestyle trick, every skill. And he played with a joy on his face with that buck tooth grin in every single game. Next up, we have Homario, one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. Maybe Brazil's second best striker of the 90s after Ronaldo O Fenomeno. He would win the World Cup in 1994 with Brazil, and he was one of the greatest finishers of all time, and he scored goals for fun wherever he was, whether it was with Vasco da Gama, Flamengo, PSV, Barcelona, or when he ended his, before the end of his career, at Miami FC in America. This man was so consistent. He scored goals in professional soccer up into his 40s. Man is an absolute legend. And finally, one of my favorites of all time, Socrates. This man was a legend both on and off the pitch. Amazing midfielder for Brazil. Very technical, very intelligent, and he did many things off the pitch, such as leading the Corinthians democracy movement, which would help eventually inspire democracy movements that would topple the Brazilian military dictatorship. Socrates maybe never quite lived up to his true potential due to his personality. He was a little bit too fond of drinking and partying and not doing some of the physical work as a professional athlete, but the man was absolute class extremely intelligent, and one of the greatest players to ever play the game. And in my opinion, he is the best ever player for Corinthians in Brazil, my favorite team. And now, finally, the greatest of all time, the best Brazilian soccer player of all time. Well, it could be no one else. Oh, hey, Pelé, right there, right behind me. We don't need to put a green screen up there because Pelé he joins us with every single one. What else can I say about the man? This man is arguably the greatest player of all time, period, regardless of country. He scored goals for fun for Santos. Then he went on to New York Cosmos and was a legend as well, helping bringing U.S. soccer to new heights at the time. And of course, he won three World Cups with Brazil. This man had every move. He did the Cruyff turn before Cruyff. He did the Rabona before anyone else. And he scored so many bicycle kicks. It's absolutely insane. He could score off his right, his left, his head, any way he wanted. There is simply no other way to describe this man than Oh Hey, the King. All right, guys. Till next time, that's it. Peace.